Hello everyone, Ashish and this side from Innovate Yourself. Welcome back to another exciting video in the series of ESP IDF. So in today's video, I'm going to show you that how you can send an email using the SMTP protocol which is simple mail transfer protocol and in this we will be using that protocol to send an email to anybody using the Gmail account and that too with ESP32. So this is all that I'll be covering in today's session. I hope you are really excited to learn that how we can do that. So this is all I'll be covering. But before that, let's understand what is SMTP. SMTP or Simple Mail Transfer Protocol is an application that is used to send, receive and relay emails between the sender and the receiver. When an email is sent, it's transferred over the internet between or you can say it's transferred over the internet from one server to the another server using the SMTP. So in simple terms, you can say your SMTP will be used to send an email. So in today's video also, we are gonna use this concept which is SMTP to send your email and that email server will be your Gmail account. So we will be using the Gmail to send an email to any of the account. It can be on Gmail or it can be on any other uh, email server as well, right? So this is all that I'll be covering up in this today's video. And I hope some of the concept which is like the basic of uh, our today's video, which is like connecting to the Wi-Fi so that we can have an access over the internet. I hope you have already gone through my previous video to have the access over the internet. So if you haven't gone through that, don't worry, I'll leave a link in the description or I'll attach the video link along with this video so that you can check that and you can have a better clarity on that. And now, just because this is the basic and after that, now we're going to start with the main thing which is to send an email to anybody. Not just a simple email, you can send an email using a normal text which is just a normal body. Along with this, in our today's video, we will send an attachment as well. So that we are covering all the stuff. You will be having a subject, you will be having a body, you will be having an attachment. So all the three things will be sent together to anybody. So this is all that we'll be covering. Now I hope you are really excited at how we can do that. So now let's move to the coding stuff and let's understand how to do that. So let's move in there. All right, everyone. So you can see on your screen, the Visual Studio code is already open. And now I can start with a new project. So basically right now I will use the basic project and just because I'm using a basic project, is that it doesn't mean that you will directly upload it and it will definitely work. No, it's not gonna work in that case because in the Gmail we have some changes and just because right now I'm not gonna show you the simple way of sending an email using, email, uh, using Gmail and uh, the thing is, in Gmail, I hope everyone is aware that there is one term called as two-step verification. And just because of this two-step verification, it's not that easy that you can directly interact your ESP32 with the Gmail server. So we have to understand that and we have to make it work with respect to that two-step verification. And that is what I'm going to show you today. right? So for that, let me do one thing. Let me simply and uh, let me quickly open up that project. In fact, that will be a basic project. That's uh, not a problem, but I'll definitely show you that how you can do that using the two-step verification as well. So let me go to that path where I have the project. So let me go in there. All right, so this is that path where I have this. So I'll open it. Yes, trust the author. Okay. All right. So now I have the project with me and right now I'll go to the project and over here you can see this is one uh, uh, attachment which I am sending with the uh, like uh, ESP32 when I'm sending the email. So this is that attachment that I'll be sending along with this and over here this is the main code in which I have all the stuff. Uh, the whether to connect to the internet and uh, then to connect to the server and then to connect to uh, or let's say then to ask for the credentials because right now we have to ask the user for the credentials uh, or let's say the sender credentials we actually want which is on the gmail right so this is what i'll be showing you so 
let me first of all give you a brief about this like how exactly it works because the way of working here is quite similar to the way like how we do it manually right so let's say if i am using uh, or let's say i am actually about to compose an email and i want to send that email to anyone with the subject with the body and with the attachment in that case what i will actually do is the process will be first i'll open up the browser and first of all i'll open up that website let's say www.gmail.com so this is that website where i'll go and once i'll go in there it will first ask me to log in so for logging in you need the credentials so it will ask you for the username it will ask you for the password and in here we have a two step verification as well which is a security feature so during that time it may also ask you uh, to verify it on your smartphone that yes it is actually you who is logging to uh, your account on some device so this is how it works and after that once you are logged in you are onto the server and you are logged in now you will start composing an email and then you pass up the details your subject your body uh, your receiver's email id and your attachment so this is the way like how you do it and at last you click on send the email right so this is the entire process so in the similar way we will use the entire process but there are bit uh differences when we actually write that code using the coding stuff whether it's in uh, esp32 whether it's on python whether it's on any other programming language right so that is the way like how we uh, do it and for doing that we need few details and that few uh, details you have to add on your code because it will be different uh from my account or from my credentials because in my case i will be using my credentials my uh, gmail username and my gmail password password you don't have to type whatever you type normally to log in to your account just like you do it on a browser so you don't have to add that because here the way of uh, logging in is to let's say overcome that two step verification so the way of logging in is bit different so you don't have to pass that uh, password so it's like username and password password i will tell you like from where i will get it and after that uh, we will also put the server like to which server we want to connect to and accordingly uh, the rest of the things your subject your body your attachment so all these things will be added so this is the entire process that how your gmail or let's say how the sending of an email to anybody works on gmail account so now the same thing we'll have to replicate in the esp32 so that your esp32 will understand and then it will work and as i already mentioned in the beginning before connecting to the gmail account or to compose an email or to send it we first of all have to connect our esp32 to the internet and that connectivity of the internet will be done using the wifi which is already there in esp32 so this is the way like how we will be doing it first connect to the wifi and connect to the internet and then follow this step now let's understand the coding stuff and let's see like how you have to add it and just because you already have got the code so definitely you know like what to do right and over here you can see it is asking for few things right and uh, i'll simply open up the terminal first so not terminal i'll simply go to this config project right first of all over here you can see that you have the example configuration and in the example configuration it is uh, already passed that this is the smtp server this is the smtp server this is your smtp port number so this is that port number on which we will be connecting here you will pass your sender email id means your email id through which you want to log in and you want to send an email and over here it is the password password you don't have to pass the one which you actually used to log in on some browser or something right so you don't have to pass it i'll tell you where to get it and here you can pass the email id to which you want to send the email right whom you want to send the email so this is all the credentials that you have to pass in here and along with that you also have to pass the credentials for the ssid and password so that you can connect to the internet so we need to pass them as well and uh, yeah so let me show you where we will add all of the stuff so let me first of all open the terminal 
here you need to have the ESP IDF uh, terminal opened and just because I'm using Mac so the way of doing it is different I hope you have already seen my previous video and I've already shown you like how to do that so let me do it quickly all right so it is done now I'll have to first of all open IDF.py and I'll have to open up the menu config so that I can update all those stuff over there right All right, so everyone you can see here you have to make the modifications here also we have to change it to 4 MB and I'll go back enter the configuration here you have to make a changes and that changes will be that you have to change it to Gmail so it will be like smdp.gmail.com so just put this because I use this uh, and in fact I prefer this one so you just put this and port number i will leave it like that 587 only i don't want to make any changes in there here you have to pass the credentials or let's say you have to pass the sender email right so you will pass the sender email in my case i'll put mine so let me put it okay i'll put it later on right at the end i'll put it and you can also put it on your end uh, because uh, there is nothing to worry about that so we can put that but yeah password as i am saying this is gonna be different and you don't have to enter the password which you normally use. So where I'm going to get that password from? So let me first of all show you where you will get this from because this is the main thing uh, which you have to understand. So let me go to the browser first. All right, so let me open it. All right, so this is my email ID, right? And uh, now I'll simply go in here and I'll simply click on manage your Google account. So just click on this. Now over here, you have to go to security and here you can see that there is one step or let's say there's one option with the name two step verification. You just have to click on that. Now here you have to enter your password, whatever it is. Now just scroll down. And on the bottom, you can see there is one option with the name app password. You just have to go inside. And here you can see I already have this. So let me delete this one and I'll create a new one, right? So let me give it a new one ESP32 and let's say Gmail, right? So this is the name that I'm giving. Now let me create it. So once I'll create it, it will simply give me the password or let's say it will simply generate the app password which is like your uh, two-step verification password so because if i will pass this password so at that time what will happen is it won't ask you for verification that whether it's actually you or it's someone else right so just copy this one and now you have to go back to your esp idf like over here and here you have to pass this password right so you can see like uh, in your case you will have this password and this password will be like four four digit like it's like four characters space four characters space four characters space four characters so in short it's six uh, 16 characters in between that you have three spaces so in this way you have to copy it and you have to pass it so you will simply pass it like this just pass it and press enter so in this way we'll simply do it and uh, now you can enter the remaining details for the sender and for the recipient email id so you can put that and you can simply go back so let me do it and let me then go back all right so i have simply filled up the details now i'll simply go back now over here you have to go for example connection configuration where you have to simply put the SSID and password. So just simply put the SSID and password. So let me put that. All right. So I've simply put the SSID and passwords as well. And similarly, if in case you want to make any further modifications or if you want to make any changes to your configuration, you can do it at your own risk because currently no other configuration is required. So you uh, that is enough, right? So once I'm done with this, I'll simply go back, just press escape and just press Y to save it. So my credentials and all the configurations are saved successfully, right? So that means now no further changes is required in the case of configurations. So now after this, you can simply upload the program and you can test it. 
now let me go to the terminal and let's start the process of uh, building the project and then to further flash it right so firstly let me build it and one more thing let me also check what's the port for this and just because i've already connected my esp32 my system so that's the reason you can see the port is also available right so i'll simply write the command now all right so i have simply passed the build command and to flash it and to monitor it so let me run it and uh, let's see whether the email is coming or not right so let me do it all right so now you can see it is connected successfully and in fact now the process of smtp example is uh, getting done right and you can see email sent so now we can go to the email and uh, we can check that whether we have received the email or not so let me go there So can you see this is the latest email I guess and I think previously also I get it so I'm able to see it two times right so you can see it's 745 right now and it's the message or it's the email from 744 right so let me open it so can you see this is a simple test mail from the SMTP client example this mail is from Ashish Saini from Innovate Yourself enjoy and this is the attachment and you can see this is that subject which we passed over there embed tls test mail right so this is the attachment you can open it and you can check it right so this is how you can actually uh, connect your esp32 to the gmail server and you can send an email to anybody right and in fact this is just the beginning that how we have done it and in fact you can use your esp32 to do much more things Let's say, for example, you can make it a uh, email sender in which your ESP32 can send an email to n number of users, or you can say for the automation process, right? So you can use this. So ESP32 is not just to send a single email, but you can use it for n number of emails or n number of other things, right? So this is all about it. I hope now you have got a clarity that how you can send an email to anybody on gmail with a two-step verification so this is the complete uh, tutorial on this i hope i was able to make you clear on this but still if, if you are facing any difficulties in understanding this feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section and i'll try to resolve your issues as soon as possible so that's all from my side for today see you in the next video till then bye bye and happy learning